Ten more days to school starts. <laughs> Woo! Where did the summer go? You can tell it's over. Yesterday, I saw the ice cream man take the bells off his cart. Oh. Hey, there is one good thing about going back to school. What? Turn over, Ben. Your brain must be flooded. <laughs> Sin. You'll be sixth graders. We'll rule the school. Yeah. We'll finally get to sit in the back wall of the auditorium. Yeah. Right? It'll be a breeze to sneak in gum. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And no more stupid folk dancing in the gym. Yeah. All right. Actually, I'm going to miss that. I was getting pretty good at the polka. Oh, come on. Oh, why the sixth grade? A couple years ago, I didn't think I'd ever make it. Believe me, none of us thought you'd ever make it. <laughs> Hey, aren't we forgetting the bad parts of sixth grade? The thin line notebook paper. It'll take twice as much stuff to fill a page. Oh. oh! And you know what? We're gonna have to see that film in health the girls saw last year. Oh, oh. My sister saw that and hasn't talked to me since. <laughs> Could be a tough year. To school starts, I'm not gonna do anything except hang. Isn't that hard on your neck? I mean, hang out, cool out, veg out. Veg out? Yeah, that's good. My mom will let me do it if it sounds organic. <laughs> hey, you know what? We can kick back and watch the Star Trek marathon next week. Yeah! yeah. All right. That'll be perfect. Three straight days of going where no man has ever gone before. Yeah! Oh, the only book we'll crack is a TV guy. Oh, All right. Yeah. So there's no thinking, no running, no nothing. Until school starts, it's just gonna be four buds hanging. Oh, yeah. 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 Guys, guys, guys. We're just hanging. <laughs> If I'm not, some stranger's just about ready to nibble on your neck. Oh, what's come over you, aside from the obvious? Darling, I have great news for you. You, me, and Webb, this Sunday, you're going to Innsbruck. Oh, I love Innsbruck. Oh, the food, the wine, the mountains, the music. Oh, I love Austria. No, 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 darling. Innsbruck, Wisconsin, the hills, the beer, the cheese. There is an Innsbruck... Wisconsin? Yes, yes, I'd Lake Innsbruck, darling. Get this. We're going fishing. We rented a cabin for a week. Oh, hurrah. Yeah, Fritz the weatherman had it rented, but 
Well, you know, he came down with a terrible cold. I heard his forecast. Cloudy, but cleric by dude. Yeah, well, at least he didn't lose his deposit. We're gonna go fishing instead. Uh, sweetheart, why don't you and Webb go fishing? You know, just the two of you, you could, uh, well, you could bond while you bait. I just think that I should be here when Nikki gets back from the farm. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Nikki is gonna be back for two weeks, for crying out loud. Besides, I want you to have that thrill of reeling in the big one. Well, sweetheart, I had that thrill when I met you. I think I've caught my limit. Darling, don't I do things that you like to do? Remember that performance art thing, those three women throwing those colored balloons at the shopping carts? George, that was a major political statement. Yeah, it was a hundred bucks a piece. Okay, so you're a good sport. I'll be a good sport, too. You're never going to regret this. <laughs> and where do you feel that doggone breeze coming off the lake? Yeah, it's the doggone breeze off your bait box that's got me worried. Yeah. <laughs> Webb's going to be excited about this. Maybe he'll see me catch big Bernie the bass this time. Bernie the bass? You're on a first-name basis with a fish? Not just a fish, sweetheart. A legend. I have two lures in his gut. Maybe this is the year that I'll catch that crazy bass. Hi, ma'am. Hi, George. I'm going for a Fig Newton run for the guys. You want some? Well, I have a little exciting news for you. Me, ma'am, and you will be going for a whole week to Innsbruck fishing. To avoid confusion, that's Innsbruck, Wisconsin. <laughs> Uh, a uh, uh, whole week? Yes. Yes, seven glorious days. Aren't you excited? Uh, well, uh, I really don't want to go. What? But, Webb, fishing's your favorite thing to do. I mean, next to pumping my gas at self-serve. Well, I wanted to hang out with the guys, you know, watch some TV cool out. Champ, you've been hanging with the guys all summer. Come on, this is family time. I guess so. Excuse me, please. I can't believe that, Kenneth. And what's with him? I thought he'd run up to me and say, George, you're outrageous. Well, he just may be getting to the age where it's hip to be cool. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe he'll start to change his mind when he buries his hook into one of these babies. <laughs> you want a bite? <laughs> okay, Bertie. This daredevil of death has your name on it. <laughs> Good morning. Good night. Those crickets sounded like a troop of flamenco dancers. Yes, but sweetheart, it's a beautiful day today. George, why are you so chipper at 6.30 in the morning? That's just the point, you know? When you're a fisherman, 6.30 in the morning seems like high noon. I got you these. Booties. <laughs> To wear? Just to wear, darling. You're gonna thank me for them. You see those fish flopping and flipping around your little tootsies, you're gonna be glad you have them. I, I, I have to work up to this gradually. You're not backing out. Oh, no. No, no. I am going to fish. It's just that I don't do well on boats that don't have a casino. Morning. Good morning. Hi, sweetheart. Listen, guys, I'm kind of tired. I think I'm going to crash here and watch some TV and catch some riffs. We don't have TV in here. He's being silly. Listen, this is what I got for you. I got a hula popper. Be very old. You can start your own collection. I know you'd like this. Is that great? Huh? Yes, it's, a, it's really great, George. Thank you. OK, well, I have breakfast here and worms here. Let's live dangerously. George. Um, 
I'm going to stay by the old homestead and rustle up some grub. Okay, darling. Bye. Freeze-dried eggs, Benedict. Thank you, Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> Warm sun, quiet, beautiful, in the good friends. Can't hardly beat that, can you, Champ? Sure. What time is it? What time is it? Who cares about the time? When you're fishing, time stands still. Sure does. <laughs> Have I ever told you the story of Bernie the Bass? Yeah. You can tell me again if you want. Oh, no, I don't have to. I don't I would tell you how big he was? At least 20 pounds. Did I tell you he only had one eye? Yeah. One hollow, mean-looking eye. Did I tell you I almost had him on the boat? Yeah. He broke the line, took your hook, and you cursed the day he was born. <laughs> hatched. Fisher hatched. <laughs> Boy, I hope we see that mean old monster today. Oh, I just remembered something. Could you pass me the tackle box? Sure. What do you want to do, change bait? Oh, no, my bait's fine. Do you mind? No, go ahead. <laughs> I wonder what time it is. Well, oh, doesn't look like the fish were snapping. Biting, darling, fish bite. Now, I guess they all belong to Weight Watchers. Even worse, my batteries went dead, and my fat boy's tape was at the bottom of the lake. I've seen those guys. I'm amazed it didn't float. <laughs> okay, well, I made some lunch. Beurre d'arachide sur le pain blanc. Huh? Peanut butter on white bread. <laughs> Come in. Oh, hi, Mr. McDrew. Come on in. Howdy, Webster. Folks, how's everybody getting along? Oh, fine, Mr. McDrew. So far, it's... Fisherman zero, fish one. <laughs> but we're fine. Good, good. Oh, no, Piney Cabins has a policy that would never interfere on your peace and tranquility. I just got this phone message for Webster and wanted to bring it by. For me? Yeah. Well, well, what does it say? Well, I'm not sure. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure it's in English. <laughs> wow, Web, hanging has been totally hot. Last night was the Tribbles. It was fresh when they bombed on Kirk. Later, man, your bud. Oh, Larry, my friends didn't forget me. Can I call them back? Please, please, can I, can I, please, please, please? Easy, easy, yes, of course you can call them, but uh, which one of them is called Tribble? Well, that's from Star Trek. See, there's these furry little things that just eat and make other furry little things. I guess it hasn't reached Masterpiece Theater yet. <laughs> no, nope, no. Nope. My missus is a Trekkie. Eats her cereal out of a bowl with that pointy-eared fella's picture on it. Oh. Has all the reruns on video. Really? You think I could watch some with her? Well, sure. Gotta stay away from her Trekkie bowl, though. <laughs> oh, but you're not gonna go right now. Come on, we're gonna go back fishing this afternoon. Don't you want to see me catch Bernie the Bass? Well, you know, George, I've been thinking. You would have much better luck if you are by yourself. So, can I please go watch the tape, please? Please? Well, if that's what you'd rather do. Yeah, you could lead a kid to water, but you can't make him fish. It's okay with me. Go ahead. Thanks, George. Thanks, ma'am. One for the road? Sure. Come on, Mr. Mike Drew. Let's beam up to your place. <laughs> Go fishing alone. That's like going to the movies alone. George, I have an idea. I was going to tell you if you got a nibble. 
You know what, George? I was gonna tell you if you got snagged on the rock. George, why don't we go fishing? Who, you and me? Yeah, I'm ready to face the great outdoors. You see? No jewelry. <laughs> You want me to bait that for you? No. <laughs> Please don't move. Please just lie there. It's painful for both of us. Ow. I'm glad you're not a surgeon. There. Now what? We gotta wait. Let some light out. Who taught you to fish? Papa taught me how to fish. Put some more line on, honey. Sweetheart, you only have four inches of line out. Yeah. Well, the only fish you're gonna bite that are ones that are gonna bump the boat. Did you and uh, Papa spend a lot of time together? Sure we do. We do camping together, fishing together. Saw the big city together. New York? Des Moines. <laughs> it was the only town in Iowa that had escalators. You remember the time when riding the moving staircase with Papa had kind of lost some of its fascination? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, you mean about Webster growing up? Yeah. I don't mind him growing up. I think it's great that he's growing up. I don't care if he doesn't want to spend all his time with me anymore. I know he has his friends, but I didn't think I'd lose out to a Vulcan. Come on, honey. He still loves us. We just need to give him a little more line. So who taught you how to fish? Sigmund Freud. <laughs> <laughs> that old salt. <laughs> oh, George. Catherine. George. Uh, Catherine. Something's happening. Yes. Something. Yes, you got a bite, Catherine. I do. Hold the tip up. What? what Hold yeah, the tip up. 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 Come what on, are read you it in. About? He's strong. I think this guy works out. Yes. He's got. You got. Oh, look at this. Okay. Get Bring the, him up. Get Bring the, the net, tip get up. The net. I got it. He's a whopper. No. <laughs> what is this, it? This is what kind is it, George? This is fantastic. It's a what whopper, it? darling. It's a, it's a bass. A bass? It's a bass. It's a bass. How many eyes does it have? One or two? One. It's got one eye. Oh, I got Bernie the bass! Oh, George, can you believe it? I got Bernie the bass. Is that exciting? Can you believe it, can you? No. <laughs> you really made my day. <laughs> that I caught Bernie the best? No, just that you released him. Well, I did that for two good reasons. One was I kind of felt sorry for poor old Bernie looking up at me with one eye, and the other was you. Me? Yeah. So we'll have a reason to come back up here next year. What do you mean, we? Well, I kind of like fishing. You know, there's something very zen about it. You sit, you think, you meditate. And then you just grab those little suckers. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hope you're living well and prospering. Yes, thank you. How was your trackathon? Oh, it was great. Well, except Mrs. McDrew washed it with me. She kept on making swishy noise every time the ship went by. You know. <laughs> you want a drink? Oh, thanks, George. Did you get to talk to your buds? Well, I sure did. It was real cool, too. You know, I actually missed Danny wearing the same clothes for three straight days. <laughs> now I know that I could never have made it through Woodstock. You know, uh, well, we'd like to talk to you about your friends. Really? W what's wrong with them? Oh, nothing a good wash and spin wouldn't fix. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that you've kind of missed them. Well? It's nothing against you guys. It's just that, well, I'm pretty tight with those dudes. We even know 
know each other's locker combination. Oh, that's intense. <laughs> so we were thinking, since there are a few days left of the holiday, that we would ask Papa if he would come up and take you back to town. George and I would stay up here and fish. And that way, you could hang out with your buds for a few more days. Really? Yeah. Gee, that's the greatest. That's the best. That's the... The, the, the most radical? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> What do you mean you don't believe that? I mean, you kind of feel like you're growing up. Well, I am. But that doesn't mean I don't need you guys anymore. We know that. But when you do need us, we'll be here. Thanks, George. Listen, we can get up real early in the morning and go fishing before I leave. You're on. All right. You might even catch Bernie the Bass. <laughs> no, I doubt it. I would have to be the greatest fisherman in the world to catch him. Oh, extremely lucky. <laughs>